Hey guys, just finished building my 56 inch Apache V-Haul RC boat. I just want to kind of go over the parts I used, how much it cost, and where you can get the parts to build one yourself. The hull itself I got off of a guy in Kijiji and it cost me $100. That's quite a bit less than what they usually go for because most hulls aside it seemed to be between $200 and $350 depending on what kind of brand you get and what kind of styling. So I'm going to start off at the back and I'll work my way forward. I have 110 millimeter aluminum rudder, purple anodized, cost me $17 shipped on eBay. Aluminum drive strut right there. That cost me, I think it was $25 shipped on eBay. 75 millimeter aluminum propeller cost me $11 shipped on eBay. I have one quarter inch drive dog and prop nut. That cost me $3.50 shipped on eBay. Go over here. Get a good view of it. A Hobby King 22 kilogram one fifth scale servo cost me twelve dollars on Hobby King's website. For the throttle servo, I have this is again both these servos are waterproof. This is a I think it's a twelve kilogram servo. Again, Hobby King seven dollars. I have a Hobby King five hundred and fifty milliliter gas tank. Comes with all the fittings for three dollars fifty cents. Brass stuffing tube. This cost me twelve dollars fifty cents shipped. And in my electronics are right here. I still have some old electronics I had laying around. Twelve hundred milliamp nickel metal hydride battery. That's a Traxxas. It's fifteen dollars brand new. XL two point five ESC. I had that laying around, but if you wanted to buy one of these to use for your boat, it would cost you twenty to thirty dollars depending on where you get it. Just another Hobby King receiver to go along with Hobby King GT2 transmitter. This transmitter costs fourteen dollars with receiver. It works great. I love them. I use them on all my rigs. There is a I forget what this spacer is called off the top of my head, but it was $3.50 shipped. And there is Collet, which is this piece right here, that connects your flex shaft to your motor. That was actually pretty expensive. It cost me $27 shipped. There is the flex shaft, which is, which is right here. This pretty much... That's what everything connects to, like your prop, everything rides on that shaft. And that's what she said. And that sh the flex shaft cost $28. Now, the most expensive part of the project is right here. You can either use a weed whacker in one of these things, or you can go this route, which is to buy an actual RC boat motor. This is a CY 27 2 cc water cooled engine. It's 4.25 horsepower. It works pretty decent. No clutch. I have just some silicone water cooling tubing I got off eBay. I got six, no, not six feet, nine feet of it for I think it was seven or eight dollars shipped. Keeps the motor nice and cool when running. And the stringers, as you can tell, I fiberglass them in myself. It's not the pretty, prettiest job, but it's really sturdy. It works really well. If you want to fiberglass your own stringers in, Bondo sells a kit. You can get it at your local marinas. $30 for the kit. And that comes with your fiberglass resin cloth and hardener. It's really easy to do yourself. It's like paper mache for adults, pretty much.